How a hairy white dude hated the Jews by Dr. Seuss. Every Jew down in Jewville like Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Jewville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But, whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Jews. Staring down from his cave with a sour, Grinchy frowned at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every Jew down in Jewville beneath was busy now, hanging the mistletoe wreath. And they hang on ihre Strümpfe auf. He snarled with a sneer. Morgen ist Weihnachten. Es ist praktisch hier. When he growled, with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming. Ich muss einen Weg finden, Weihnachten zu verhindern. For tomorrow he knew. All the two girls and boys would wake bright and early with rush for their toys. And then, oh the noise, oh the noise, the noise, noise, noise. That's one thing he hated, the noise, noise, noise. Then the Jews, young and old, would sit down to a fist, and they fest, and they fest, and they fest, 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 fest. They would fest on Jew pudding and rare Jew rose best, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the last. Then they do something he liked least of all. Every Jew down in Jewville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They stand hand in hand and the Jews would start singing. They'd sing and they sing and they sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of the true Christmas thing, the more the Grinch thought. Ich muss diese ganze Sache stoppen. Nun, 53 Jahre habe ich es jetzt ertragen. Ich muss verhindern, dass dieses Weihnachten kommt. Aber wie? When he got an idea, an awful idea, the Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. Ich weiß genau, was zu tun ist. The Grinch left in his throat and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and coat. He chuckled and he cackled. Was für ein toller Grinchitrick. Mit diesem Mantel und diesem Hut sehe ich aus wie Saint Nick. Alles was ich brauche ist ein Rentier. The Grinch look around. But since reindeer are scarce, where was none to be found? Did that stop the old Grinch? No! The Grinch simply said. Wenn ich kein Rentier finde, mache ich stattdessen eins. So he called his dog, Max, when he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshlag slate and he hitched up an old Max. Then the Grinch said, Get up! And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Jews lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quite snow filled with air. All the Jews were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house in the square, Das ist Stop Nummer 1. The old Grinchy claws hissed and he climbed on the roof, empty bags in his fist. When he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once, for a minute or two, when he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue, where the little Jew stockings all hang in a row. Diese Strümpfe, he grinned, sind die ersten Dinge, die gehen. When he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room and he took every peasant. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates and drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn and plums. And he stuffed them in the bags when the Grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chibli. When he slunk to the icebox, he took the juice fist. He took the juice pudding, he took the rose best. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why? The Grinch even took their last can of Jew hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And nun, grinned the Grinch. Ich stopfe den Baum voll. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove. When he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove, he turned around fast and he saw a small Jew, little Cindy Lou Jew, who was not more than a two. The Grinch had been caught by a tiny Jew daughter who'd got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why, why are you taking our Christmas tree, why? But, you know, the old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he fought up a lie, and he fought it up quick. Warum, mein süßer kleiner Knirps, 
The fake Santa Claus lied. An diesem Baum ist ein Licht, das auf einer Seite nicht leuchtet. Also nehme ich es mit nach Hause in meine Werkstatt. Meine Liebe, ich werde es dort reparieren. Dann bringe ich es hierher zurück. And his whip fooled the child. When he patted her head and he got her a drink and he sent her to bed and then Cindy Lou Drew went to bed with her hop. He went to the chimney and stopped the tree up. When the last thing he took was the log for the fire. When he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the only speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other Jews' houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other Jews' mouses. It was quarter past dawn. All the Jews still abed. All the Jews still snooze. When he packed up his sled, packed up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Krumpit, he rolled with his load to the tip top to dump it. Buden Juden. He was grinchishly humming. Sie finden jetzt heraus, dass kein Weihnachten kommt. Sie wachen gerade auf, ich weiß genau, was sie tun werden. Ihre Münde werden ein oder zwei Minuten offen stehen. Dann werden die Juden unten in Jeffville alle schreien. Boho. Das ist ein Geräusch. Grin the Grinch. Das muss ich einfach hören. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, when it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why did this sound sounded merry? It couldn't be so, but it was merry. Very. He stared down at Jubal. The Grinch popped his eyes. When he shook, what he saw was a shocking surprise. Every Jew down in Jubal, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came, somehow or over, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. Wie konnte das sein? Es kam ohne Bänder. Es kam ohne Etikett. Es kam ohne Pakete, Kartons oder Tüten. And he puzzled three hours till his dick was sore, when the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Vielleicht Weihnachten, he thought, kommt nicht aus einem Laden. Vielleicht bedeutet Weihnachten. Vielleicht. Ein bisschen mehr. And what happened then? Well, in Jewel they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day, and the minute his heart didn't feel quite so right, he whistled with his load through the bright morning light, and he brought back the toys, and the food for the fest, and he... He himself, the Grinch, carved the rose best.